time dropper fan what's going on vlog number 12 tonight clippers and timberwolves lost our first two games with russ after the all-star break this is as close to a must win as it gets if you're talking regular season we need to get back on the board get russ his first one as a clipper i don't even know where i'm sitting but it's a jason ticket tonight so i should be pretty good we'll see go clippers you already know the deal First time seeing Minnesota this year, for me. The last time we saw them, we saw them both times last year. Pat Bev's return in the game where they played our G League team. Cue the music, need a win. Jackson on the drive, kicks it out for Man. Man, three-pointer, bang! Oh, what a man! Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12, good! Here's Michael at the foul line, a shot on Elo. Chairman's Club, is what it's called? Yeah. So this is for people in, on the wood. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Like, like, this is amazing. the reason why I wanted you to come in early is so... So this is the Chairman's Club. Insane. There's a buffet over there. And I just got some chicken, some short rib, some sushi, some tequila. This is unbelievable. Got the Clipper logos all over. TV. Oh, there's a Laker game. Pretty freaking sweet, man. Jason, if you're watching this, you're the man. I'm enjoying every second of this. All new for me. I didn't even know this shit existed. But I'm enjoying it. Here we are. Here I am. I'll take that fucking drink now. There's the great Chris Haynes. Just walked by Christina Pink. And there's my favorite college player ever, Jordan McLaughlin. USC's finest, Etiwanda High School. Izzy Bones. Wow. Close to reset this season, no doubt. I love the way this guy interacts with the crowd already. First time we're in the blue Clipper jersey for Russ. And he looks good in it. He looks real good in it. Boo! Boo! You suck, Gobert! 
You trash! We own you! It's been a very sloppy half for the good guys. We'll take that, Paul! Well, we're down by two. Had like 12 first half turnovers after a really good first quarter. Paul George being sloppy again. And we're getting beasted on the inside a little bit. That second quarter, Gobert had 12 points. Beasting on the inside and Kawhi was cold when he came back in. So was Paul. All of the Paul's shots were off to the right. Really good half for Russ though. Rebounding, playing good D. Seven assists in the first half, but Marcus Morris was just dreadful. He's lost all his confidence, and I don't even know. Norman just played one shift, that was it. Terrence Mann, one shift, that was it. Nico Batum, one shift, that was it. I'm worried about it. Down two after one, half. Gotta win this game, we gotta. 58 points is a lot, but you gotta give credit to the Wolves. They're playing well. All right, down by two. Eden, what's the deal? What are you thinking, man? Gigi's going to stop turning the ball over and we're going to fucking take over. Kawhi's going to, you know, do his thing and we're going to get the W tonight. We what do you, the W tonight. Why do you think we're struggling right now? Because Ty's an idiot. Whoa, so what do you think you should do differently? Bring Rocco in. Rocco, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play team man more. We already know. Everybody on Twitter knows what's up, bro. All the Twitter DMs, they're right. <laughs> Spence, you got anything for the cameraman? We're down two. What it is. Give me something for the camera. Man. What are we so, doing? Listen, we need Terrence Mann for the second half. We got this. It's a little closer than I'm comfortable with. But best believe, I still got hope. Ty, please. Glad you got but anything? I'll say, I don't. I don't. Nothing? Bring in. I don't like Terrence. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Terrence Mann. All right. Please. More Terrence minutes instead of senior, I'm guessing? Yes. What do you think of Russ yes. so far? Russ, phenomenal. Dude is, he's a machine, he's playing his role. Russ haters, please stop. <laughs> the dude is amazing. I like this chain, by the way. Dude. I love this jacket. Got, got a weapon, man. Playing like ass, I'm getting nervous. You got a rebound, guys. Thank God. Two years ago, Joe would have went for that. Kawhi Lane. Easy. Chris Haynes. UCLA teammates, Norman and Kyle. Uh, 
We're shooting 41%. Defense! 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 Ninety-nine, ninety-three, four minutes to go. Need to be very sickly perfect from here on out. Defense! 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 Put senior back in though, which is insane. Trellier! Let's go need that. Needed that. Let's go, boys. Come on, keep being aggressive, Norm. Let's go, Clippers. Let's go, Clippers! Good screen. No, we do not. Whoa. Defense! Defense! Yeah! He saved it, he saved it. Fucking A. Ross, you want us? We could be cooked. Probably are. Kawhi has 23, Paul has 25. Russ is a double double, but not enough. Foul? No foul. Go bear. shots even after a win. See, these NBA players do not miss when they're open. Oh, there it is. Live outside Staples Center with my boy Spence. It was a disaster, man. I feel so defeated. After the first quarter, it felt so flat. We turned the ball over way too much again. And you know, Russ is a part of that. Paul George is a part of that. Everybody would seem to be a part of that. And look, I'm not mad at Russ. He didn't have a good second half, though. He didn't. He was short on every jump shot. He took only two bad shots in the game to me, though. But the problem is bringing in Russ just adds another player that Tyler needs to incorporate. And that goes, takes another guy's minutes away. Now Norman Powell's playing less minutes. And now Terrence Mann is playing less minutes. And, you know, everybody keeps saying, we got to figure it out. It's a new team, all that. We're in game 64. That's the issue. That's the thing. All season, it's we're going to figure it out. We're still getting guys back. No continuity. That was the reason why I was most skeptical of the Russ trade because it was just, it was a big shakeup. No matter what anyone wants to say, he brought, brought bringing in Russ is a big move. He's a big name, and I'm not saying it costs us the game or anything like that. Kawhi seven for 19. It wasn't enough, and it's it's you know he was due for a game where he wasn't going to hit, but it was tough. I mean, only three points in the fourth quarter. He just seemed short, just not very. I mean, I know he had eight points in the third, but it just seemed very pedestrian you know he played like the whole third and got eight points I mean Paul shot the ball okay but there was just stretches where he would go without a bucket and too many turnovers Marcus Morris looked like he had lost all his confidence he can't start another game because the problem is he starts the first quarter and the third quarter so then he gets more minutes than other guys it just feels like we just have no rhythm none it's like we had we're looking like we we're picking something up before the all-star break and then we bring in a new player it's just like the, the whole approach from the medical staff from the from the coaching staff the whole season has been we don't care about regular season wins now you're paying the price because every loss feels 10 times bigger bye spence
every loss feels 10 times bigger. And I don't know, man, I haven't felt this disappointed after a game this season. I don't know what to say. We're not a championship team right now. We may not be. And it's just, I just think it's an arrogant approach from the top down in this franchise. And they deserve to be humbled really badly.